Over the years, South Korea has stepped up to become a leader in treating cerebrovascular diseases. Physicians from across the world gathered in Busan over the weekend to learn more about the nation's expertise, know-how, including cutting-edge research and training. Lee ji has the full story. For human bodies to function normally, they rely on healthy blood flow to the brain and spinal cord. Neurovascular disorders disrupt this normal blood flow and oxygen circulation, and that can eventually lead to serious complications like brain aneurysms, strokes, and brain hemorrhages. Just last month, Statistics Korea cited cerebrovascular diseases as the fourth most common cause of death here in Korea. So to address the rising demand for more effective and advanced neurovascular treatment methods, physicians from 10 different countries, including the U.S., Japan, and Germany, have gotten together here at Bexco in Busan. Under the theme of Review the Old and Learn the New, the 6th International BNS by Neurovascular Symposium gives us a glimpse of various ways to treat difficult neurovascular cases across the globe. This year is very meaningful to us because uh, BNS is uh, recognized as an uh, international organization from Korea. BNS can, can provide us a network hub for not just for the Asia Pacific country, but just worldwide. So uh, this is a very big event. More doctors have been adopting minimally invasive procedures with reduced recovery periods and are adapting to the changing nature of the disease. Professor Lee jung gu of Seoul St. Mary's Hospital says the latest cases show that brain aneurysms are no longer just a disease of old age. Well, generally speaking, brain aneurysms tend to affect older people. However, these days we're seeing a growing number of younger people suffering from aneurysms. So as neurosurgeons, we constantly look for answers in treating them effectively. And this symposium provides many physicians like me a chance to learn from each other. During a special session on ischemic strokes, physicians discuss different ways to best treat them during a 60-minute period, which is often referred to as the golden hour. Professor Matthew Gonis from University of Massachusetts Medical School applauded South Korea's technological advances in this field. So the neuroendovascular community is offering incredible services in South Korea for mechanical thrombectomy and brain aneurysm treatment. So this is the first international bioneurovascular conference and they're being truly wise by learning from the experience of others rather than just learning from their own experience. Participants also discussed the role of robotics and treatments in the near future as physicians often have to balance between science and clinical judgments. With that, the future of South Korea's neurovascular surgery looks promising as it helps the development of the field across the globe. Lee Ji-yoon, Arirang News, Busan.